Alright, so I haven't vlogged in a while, but it's always nice to pick up a camera and point it at yourself. Um, the S14 build officially started. Uh, we're probably like an hour and a half into disassembling the car. So the car has no front end. Um, the car has no front end, no uh, fenders, uh, bumper support is off, reservoir, wherever that thing was over there. Um, I'm sure a lot more things have happened. Ruben's been wrenching away, but um, I'm just trying to help him however I can. Currently the car is getting torn apart. We're gonna pretty much swap everything from this shell onto this shell right here. We're starting off with disassembling the whole front end, taking out the engine, and then um, Ruben's gonna fix up this shell right here that's been lightly hit up front, as you guys can see. So yeah, I thought I'd just update you guys, kind of bring you in the loop of what we're doing, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna start disassembling this thing a little bit more. So it's currently day two of the S14 build. The whole front end's torn apart. Um, motor's coming out today, and uh, so should the interior. Alright, so this is currently where we're at. Both seats are gone. Drivers and passenger. The seat belts up front and rear are gone on both sides. I'm just about to start removing this trim. And then we'll remove the center console, uh, radio, and the AC and heat unit. So door cards can stay in because we're throwing these doors onto the other shell. And then everything up back here, the seats were removed when it was at my house. So yeah, not too much work. I'm currently just chilling. I'm gonna set up a time lapse and uh, get all this trim removed. What are you doing? <laughs> Warming up my feet. As you guys can see, quarter is clean. There's one dent right there, but nav and side skirt will cover up, and it's not too much bondo work. So this shell is actually in very good condition, uh, besides the front end. The rear end hasn't been tinkered with or messed with. Uh, it's all original quarter panels. There's no bondo on them. The quarter glass doesn't leak, which is a plus, because that quarter glass didn't leak. Um, but yeah, the shell is actually in like decent condition, besides the front frame. Which is like, it's bad, but it's not as bad as that one. So yeah, this is the damage. Room's doing all the fabric. work. Uh, you explain more of it in the next episode. Well, I think this one will wrap it up. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ooh.